Preventing outsiders from entering their villages. These are photos and videos we obtained from the Center for Orang Asu Concerns, a local non governmental organization that works for indigenous people. The Orang Asu, which means original people in the Malay language, are more vulnerable to disease like the coronavirus because of poverty and malnutrition. Some, like Amina Angon, think for now it's safer to return to the forest. Many indigenous communities live in remote areas with no access to running water and electricity. And as Malaysia's tough restrictions on movement continue, these communities face additional hardships. Many only earn enough to live on and have little savings. My income is mostly from lemongrass. I have lots of that planted around my house. It's not a steady income. I make around $90 to $100 a month. But farmers have no means to get to the markets and have not been able to sell their produce. I can't sell any of my produce now. Lemongrass, pepper, turmeric. I can't even sell prawns, which used to be my main produce. The government has promised assistance to poor communities while the restriction order is in place. The Director General of the Department of Orang Asli Development told Al Jazeera that the agency has applied for an emergency grant to help those in need. But the Centre for Oral Asli Concerns says not all villagers are officially registered with the agency, and those which are not will likely be left out. The NGO is one of several that are now raising funds for indigenous communities. The donations are paid to local community coordinators to purchase food, which is then distributed to the villagers. It's not a perfect system, but it's one way to ensure that aid reaches those who need it most. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera.